Thanks, Paul. With a weather forecast like that, I guess we can tell spring's in the air. You know, I woke up this morning with the sounds of birds singing their morning song. It's just another reminder that spring is here. Now, I know some of you are getting ready to, or have already started your spring cleaning. No. <laughs> now, Tom, how's the weather on this lovely day? What's he talking about? This place is clean. Well, I ain't do. Spinner split the wallpaper up on my dungeon. Soon my dungeon will be complete. Soon it will be complete.
I'm gonna blow these pictures now. to dance. See if we can find something good on.
At the movie theater this weekend, you can see Chaos in Outer Space. For more information on that or anything else in our broadcast, you can go to our website. And while you're there, check out our new profiles. And in other news, a man was caught urinating in the fountain at the casino last night. Awkward. A website. See what's on this website. Perhaps I can hack into the computer and get a phone number. TV, man. 
still. That is where I have watched you oh so many nights as you give your newscast. Oh, in. If you only knew how many times I've seen you. Chose not to use it on Laura. But perhaps, perhaps we will use it at some point. And now, and now. And now, Henry, I think we should dance. Got me a sexy chick.
color ink is low. Yeah, I know it. 
And I heard you were down at the oyster bar with your old lady. You know she don't like oysters. Now how the hell am I supposed to know that, Ed? What do you got? Got the second missing persons report this week. Hmm. She looks mighty familiar. Of course she does, Ed. She worked for the uh, crime unit. That's where I seen her. That's kind of strange that she came up missing just a month after she resigned. Yeah, remember how mad she'd get when I was touching the evidence? Yeah, and you love putting your fingers all over the evidence too, Ed. Yeah, I wonder if I was the one that caused her to resign. I'm sure she wasn't the first one to consider resigning because of you. Hell, I considered resigning. Jessica, that gets my blood boiling. Really? Who is this? I told you, I'm Tomato Man. What do you want? I want you, Jessica. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm married. Does he make you feel like a real woman? <laughs> That's none of your business. Weirdo. Hello, detective unit. Yes, detective. I'm having somebody call my phone and they're asking me weird and personal questions. Do you know who it was? I'm not really sure. He just kept saying he wanted me to call him Tomato Man. Tomato Man? He called his tough Tomato Man? What did he want? Well, I asked him what he wanted and he said he wanted me. I take it you're hot then. <clears throat> yeah, what'd you do then? Well, I hung up on him and then he called me right back. He told me not to hang up on him anymore because it made him mad. I wouldn't worry about it. It's probably just teenagers. Making pr prank phone calls. Staring in your window. They could be staring in at me? Yeah, if you have any more problems, yeah, you can just give me a call. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh-huh. Bye. Teenagers.
I really, really have to pee. The local landmark was imploded today. Let's watch the footage. It only took 13 seconds for the tower to come down. City officials say that no one was injured. Fred? In other news, a missing persons report was filed today when uh, family members say that they have not seen or heard from this young woman in the past few days. If you have seen her or know her whereabouts, please contact the police department at... Good luck finding her. Isn't it clear? You are what I want. No! No, I'll give you money! I'll give you money! <laughs> Don't you know? Money! Money does not buy happiness. Please, just, please just let me go. I won't tell anyone. I'll pretend like none of this ever happened. Please just let me go. <laughs> Obviously you don't understand. I, I am not taking orders. I'm giving them. And since you seem to be so disobedient, I am just going to have to teach you who is boss? I gotta get my whip. And I'll show you who is boss.
But if you try to escape, you'll be severely, SEVERELY punished. I really have to pee. I really, really have to pee. Please, I'm going to pee myself. You're joking. I don't have a wet floor sign. Can I please have a drink of water? <coughs> There's your drink of water. How is that? <laughs> Don't say that again. Hey Ed, um, that phone call we got the other day, wasn't that lady's name Jessica? I believe it was. Right, okay. Well, let's not say anything to the chief or the mayor at this point. All right? Mm -hmm.
Ed. Hey, uh, Mayor. Good, good seeing you. Uh, uh, I have asked you to speak here at this press conference. At, at not not to worry about it. And these, most of the newscasters and media, they won't come unless it's something really big. But uh, just to be on the safe side, I, I have prepared your speech for you so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, great. You ready? Great. Ready. Let's go. And this time, I've asked Detective Ed Lincoln if he would say a few words about this murder. Detective Lincoln. Thank you, Mayor. This is fucking big. Hello. I'm here to touch on a few points about the murder. Detective Jenkins and I have the Mayor's full cooperation in this matter. Detective Jenkins and I take full responsibility in finding the killer and making the streets safe again. Thank you all for coming. Now I contacted the police department and they say they have no evidence connecting this murder and the missing persons report filed a few days ago. What kind of person would call themselves Tomato Man? She is starting to realize. Anne Marie, she knows my name. She knows my name. I've got to kill again to keep my name in front of her. But who? Made a man finish his turn with her and then slit her throat using a large blade, possibly a butcher knife. Makes you think it's an unfriendly world out there. It's enough to make you think we've got a second body in as many weeks that's been murdered and raped in the same fashion with a tomato squashed on her body and not a shred of evidence to go on. Maybe that in itself is a clue. Now that, what's that supposed to mean, Ed? If we don't have any evidence, we don't have a clue and the whole investigation goes nowhere. Whoever did this knew how not to leave a clue. Let's look it over one more time, Let's just find something, and then, then, we can watch the mayor hit the roof. The mayor's not going to like a serial killer in our city. You can say that again, Ed. The mayor's not going to like us having a serial killer in our city. Tomato Man. <laughs> yeah, right. Is that you, Matthew? <laughs> if this is the Tomato Man, then how come you keep killing people? <laughs> For me, uh, uh, you are a naughty man, Matthew. Oh, I mean, Tomato Man. Maybe I should bend you over my knee and spank you. <laughs> Ooh, you're getting kinky now, aren't you? <sighs> Matthew, I know it's you. You can just drop this whole tomato man thing. I know you're way too nice of a guy. <laughs> Whatever. Everything alright? 
Yeah, just Matthew playing a practical joke. He called and said he's the tomato man. Really? Well, yeah, but only him and the station know my number, so it can't possibly be true. What? What if he is the tomato man? <laughs> Matthew, he couldn't be. He's way too nice. All right. Hello, thanks for tuning in to Channel 2. In our top story today, the Tomato Man strikes again, claiming his third victim. This Tomato Man better hope the cops find him before I do, because if I find him, I'm gonna cut off his balls. Uh, yes, yes, I, uh, I need an ambulance sent out to, uh, the Channel 2 news station as, as fast as you can. I, uh about that. What do you mean? Right there's a squashed tomato. It's calling card. But unlike the other, she's been stabbed multiple times. Yeah, you're right. Also, she has no signs of being raped. You're right again. It looks like we may have a copycat killer. Seeing an anchor woman killed makes me think of one thing. What's that, Ed? Story at 11. Hi, Ed. Hey. I was uh, just talking to John down at the crime scene. Um, 
he's saying all of the evidence is uh, pointing to just one person. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Ed, Ed, don't touch the Let's turn around, Ed. Oh my god. The missing person is Tomato Man. What? Just follow me on this. No, okay. Okay. Laura came up missing just before all of the murders. If she's missing, no one would expect her to be a suspect. Okay, following you so far. Laura worked for the crime scene department. Therefore, she knew what we would be looking for, so she didn't leave any evidence. Okay. If she wore a strap on, she could rape the victim, leading us to believe the tomato man was a man. Mm-hmm. And when she called Jessica, using the name tomato man, that would automatically make you believe that she was a man. Wait a minute. She's surrounded. Surrounded? Look here. And you follow the dots. She's in the woods. We better contact the mayor. Okay, Ed, I'll call right now. Hello? Mayor? Yeah, I have news on the location of the tomato man. She's in the woods. Yes. Yes, we put the last two pins in the map and it creates a circle um, around the location. Okay. Okay, we'll let you know. Alrighty. What did he say? What the hell do you think he said, Ed? He wants us to contact him when we find Tomato Man. Ed, this is where the fun begins. Hit it.
get there, Ed, we're going to have to be cautious because she could be anywhere in the woods. Don't worry, I'll bust the cap in her ass when we find her. Ed, holy crap. We can't go off trigger, Happy. We gotta do things by the book. The beta man, he ain't doing nothing by the books. To catch a criminal, you gotta be crazier than the criminal. You scare me sometimes, Ed. Thank you. That wasn't a compliment, Ed. Ed, watch your ass out there. She could be anywhere. Hey, wait a minute, Dad. Ed, find a tree. There's millions of them. Man, between that bumpy ride and all that blood and guts, I need to find somewhere to drop a brown growler. Come on, Ed. That is one big pile of shit. And you know your shit, Ed. I sure do. Don't touch that, Ed. Damn it, Ed. Come on. Ed, I think this is the place. How about, uh, you go around the back just in case. I'll go take the front. This way, Ed. Freeze, police! What the hell is that, Ed? I'm fitting to bust the cap on these ass. We were trying to take her alive, Ed. Why'd you do that? It's the way I rolled, Dick. She's not dead yet.
Yeah, yeah, send an ambulance right away. She's dead, Dick. Cancel that ambulance. Send a coroner. What do we have here? Hmm. Well. What did you find? Laura's face. Why would she have her own face on there? Unless that isn't her. There's only one way to find out. Looks just like the mayor. No, Ed. That's the mayor's twin brother. Son of a bitch, Dick. You can say that again, Ed. Son of a bitch, Dick. <laughs> well, Ed, the mayor's expecting a phone call. I'm not looking forward to this one. Hello, Mayor? Yes, we have the tomato man. That's great news. Quit touching things. No, no, no. Not, not, not you, Mayor. Not you. Well, it's not who we thought it was. Well, who was it then? It was... It was your twin brother. My brother? My twin brother. Are you sure? Yes. There is all the evidence we need right here in the basement of this house. Yes. Well, tell the media that you got to meet a man, but don't release that it is my brother. That that would hurt my campaign. Will do, Mayor. And, and make sure he doesn't talk either. That would hurt too. That won't be a problem, Mayor. He's dead. Well, that ought to keep him quiet. Hi, we are here at the what seems to be the last scene of the tomato man's last victim which was our very own Anne from Channel 2 News uh, I'm happy to inform you that the tomato man was captured and, and subsequently killed uh, just moments maybe uh, moments ago uh. they never even suspected it was me <laughs> oh, baby.
like it's through that screen. <laughs> You were supposed to... Oh, I know, I got it. I thought it would... It's probably just Matthew. I think you got a stranger in your house with the camera. Did you get, did you get him? I didn't yeah. walk it off. I left it on the phone. In the chair. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> I started penning, I was like, oh, there's Paul. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you remember how mad she'd get when I was touch? <laughs> <laughs> I can't look at her. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and you'd love putting your fingers all over the edit. <laughs> they what? <laughs> that was disturbing.